Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Claire and this is the Veg Plot Thickens. Today I'm going to be sorting out this brassica cave. It's time to remove everything from it to prepare this ground ready for the new growing season. In here I'm going to mainly have my drying beans, so I need some sort of wigwammy teepee type things. I'm going to grow bolotti beans, Greek gigantes, and maybe kidney beans, I'm not sure yet. So I need to get this cleared because beans are particularly hungry, so I need to get a lot of organic matter in here. We did put quite a bit in before I planted on here last year, but it's going to need a little bit more for obviously the new season ahead. I'm particularly keen to be getting rid of this string where it is tied on to the greenhouse all of this year for when we had strong winds. Because I have to remember to duck under this one and I do forget sometimes and it's a bit of a shock so quite looking forward to getting this removed first things first I need to have a look at what's actually left in here oh right so these are my tender stem broccolis towards the end of the season everything in here was succumbing to white fly they are a little bit still on the leaves. I'm probably going to try and harvest what I can that's left of these little stems, but then I think these plants are, are done. I've had about six harvests off them in total. So it's time for those to come out. These cabbages never really did anything this year. I'm not expecting them to. I mean, they're well and truly chewed. This one didn't fare any better. So I'm going to remove those. I left them hoping that the slugs would eat them and nothing else. I'm going to start by harvesting what I can that is left. I don't know if you can see that, but that is completely infested with white fly. That's not a bad little broccoli harvest. These are the leftovers of some kale that was also quite infested not long ago. But looking at it now, it's not too bad at all. So I might carry on trying to harvest some of this. And I'm thinking I'm going to try and see about transplanting them. Definitely time for these to go. Well, I pulled this one straight out to show you that even though it's been in the ground since June, it's not really grown much of a root at all. Oh, can't pull that out. I was trying to cut that, but I couldn't cut it. I've been marvelling at this tender stem being a dwarf variety, and I believe it is supposed to be quite small in comparison to, say, my purple sprouting broccoli which is absolutely huge, but they may not have meant to be as small as they are. The reality is they've probably just not thrived in the ground here. I want to take a moment to talk about the ground within here. When this was cleared off, and I'll just overlay some photos up here somewhere of how bad it was before we took this over, all we did was dig this out and then I planted straight into it. There was a little bit of old muck put in there first, but essentially we planted straight into it after clearing off all of those weeds that you've just seen. I've done precious little weeding in here all year because I've put a couple of bags of strulch on the surface. There's a few little pieces of grass, but essentially this has kept the weeds out of this bed all year. I'll definitely be using strulch again this season. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Now I can finally get rid of this. Oh, heaven. This has actually held up quite well to the storms. It comes with lashings for the edges. All we did was add a couple of these bamboo canes to the ridges to just help hold it there. We just gave it a little bit of a helping hand in the worst of the storms by sort of supporting the edges. I'm going to put a link in my description to this tunnel. I've been asked a few times what we've used for the brassicas and definitely rated. It's done well for us this year, but it, it probably would need a bit of extra securing just to help in an exposed site, which we are quite exposed here. Now I'm going to try and take it down without breaking it for me.
well, that looks a bit different now, doesn't it? Just a few geese coming then. They talk more than I do. I think I am going to try and just move these. these kale in a bit of spare ground in here. If they don't live, they don't live. If they do, then great. I think they'll sit just nicely in the front of this bed. them a drink. And we'll put the cover back over. This little cover is really handy if you've only got 1.2 meter beds. It's not pegged down in any way. It hasn't moved in any of the storms. So I'm quite pleased with it. Here's some of the purple sprouting broccoli. It's been completely battered by the wind. Some of my spring cabbages seem to be doing okay. It's well covered under there, but that is my other purple sprouting broccoli that I have to keep raising the height of the canes to because it's just a monster trifid. And in this end bed, we have some more spring cabbages and we have some leeks at the other end. I'm going to go and sort out the compost heap now and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!